What's up guys, welcome back to Trove and uh, today I thought I'd give you some news. Haven't done a uh, news type of video in a while now and uh, interesting things happen, some good, some bad. I uh, guess we're gonna talk about them. Not sure what the reason was for those uh, Chewbacca noises <laughs> back there, but whatever. As you can see, here I got the hotfix that uh, just happened or is about to happen, not sure when I'm gonna launch this video, but uh, the topic is as fresh as it can be, November 28th, 2017, which should be today. So, what's this hotfix about, you may ask? Well, besides the obvious uh, bug fixing for the bugs that came with uh, Trove Adventures and uh, whatnot, this hotfix was firstly advertised as uh, the hotfix that would remove tethering. If you don't know what tethering is, well, uh, let me tell you, it was a system introduced with Throw Adventures that uh, would tie players, sort of, in some sort of a party. So imagine someone farming Uber9 for example, if he had some friends over, he could create uh, this party system, so to speak that uh, basically made sure they are gonna get items out of chests broken. If someone else joined and uh, that guy wasn't in their tether, the guy wouldn't get drops. Here's more information about this uh, tethering. By the way, all links I'm talking about can be found in this video's description. These are the patch notes for uh, Trove Adventures and it even says public evaluation, right? Not to come as a final product. And it says here tethers are a new way for players to group up and share experience and loot. Each tether grants uh, gets an icon and name and by default these appear in the yeah yeah yeah. You might have noticed the, the new random icons, they came from this tethering system. Creating a tether is done by uh, pressing Ctrl and D on, uh, on PC and uh, you have the freedom to kick or uh, invite any member you wish. Well, leaving a tether was done if you if you moved more than 500 blocks away from uh, the tether's leader, as it says here, or if you change worlds or get kicked. And probably the biggest negative of uh, this system is actually stated here. Let me try and find it. Oh, it's actually on the first line. It says, we're aware that there may be concerns about how loot is uh, distributed as a result of two different tethers competing over uh, some dungeon or to be more, more accurate over some uh, dungeon chest. So basically, loot stealing is now a thing while tethering is active. It had its uh, positives of course, like uh, removing uh, leechers, but as far as, uh, as far as the feedback I've seen, there's plenty work to do on this system to integrate it better. Back to our hotfix now, as I said, it was firstly advertised as being the hotfix that would remove tethering, but it's not gonna remove it. However though, as they're saying right here, the change to remove tethering is still coming, in a future hotfix that is, soon. So what's this hotfix bringing or um, in some cases removing? Well, let me tell you. I'm only gonna cover the important ones for me, or the most, uh, the most interesting that I found here, like this one, they fixed some uh, bug that allowed you to place fixtures on top of fixtures, but uh, on top of fixtures that didn't even finish building, yeah, so imagine the, the effects. Looks like uh, if you got a club, you can opt out of appearing in the portals on, uh, on Club HQ, Founded Hub. You do that by using these uh, commands. Club level up messages now appear in chat. Guess, uh, guess there are gonna be more GG's now. And uh, the one change that I absolutely hate in this hotfix is this one. Restore the 750 member limit in clubs. Really? Really? I was so hyped! I, I was so hyped we can now add over 750 and now you take that from me. I'm not usually mad whenever they make uh, quote bad changes, so to speak. They're not actually bad in the... whatever. Um, it's a free game, it's their game, they can do whatever they wish with it. But in this case, in this case I'm mad, I mean only 750 members, come on, I'm probably, I gotta say, this change is probably not gonna make too many people angry like I am right now. I'm probably one of the few that are actually triggered by this. It's mainly gonna affect people uh, like me who wanna have their entire community in their own club, right? 
and uh, I'm pretty sure I got more uh, over 750 members that uh, wish to be online in my club and that's not gonna happen from now on. Yeah, what can I say? It truly sucks. Not sure, uh, not sure what's the reason behind it. Hope we will find out. But yeah, currently we can uh, we can invite over 750 as of uh, right before this patch is gonna happen. And uh, I don't know, the club seems stable, nothing wrong seems to be happening. Anyway, time to move on. Looks like they fixed the Clubit donation thingy, it's now gonna track your uh, Clubit's donated accurately, which is nice, that's a uh, positive. And they also had some uh, other club changes. As for adventures, they say the fixtures tab of our club interface is uh, now gonna give better feedback for adventures. And actually give an example, it's now gonna properly inform you when you donated enough clubits to pay the rent, not sure what's up with this, very interesting, is it a secret message? Euro's trademark? Is the euro gonna keep rising compared to my local currency? Probably that's it. And besides this uh, interface change, we're gonna have some other uh, bug fixing happening. As for the additional updates, uh, I should mention this, Flux artifacts should be unlocked in the loot collector by default now, so you won't have to click them anymore. <laughs> Something funny, they said uh, they fixed uh, some inconsistent naming for the Thoughtless First Aura. If you remember the video, I was really confused about the different names on it, but now that seems to be fixed. Minor Strove now include uh, Cinnabar, which is really interesting, this is a box type if you're not sure what that is. And uh, they're now gonna drop uh, Cinnabars. I bought some, I'm gonna open some, see what's the drop rate on them. Expect that soon. And apparently we can now catch this um, plasma fish called Led's Litz Lionfish. Cool stuff. Well guys, this is it for this hotfix. Thank you very much for watching my um, little coverage video. And I'm gonna see you on the next one.